We are gonna talk about three things to avoid when starting a personal brand. Three things to not do when starting a personal brand, okay? We didn't leave our corporate jobs to work from home to work all day every day. Hi, I am Martha Krejci, and here's my dog, Herman. I'm a business strategist that's teaching families how to build $10,000 a month plus income streams in five hours a week. If you are loving this video, be sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss a thing. All you have to do is do a quick Google search on personal branding and you're gonna see, you should do this and you should do this and da 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 And a lot of it doesn't matter, right? I mean, let's just be real, a lot of it doesn't matter. Again, three things to avoid, avoid, don't do, when starting a personal brand. So you guys know I'm all about personal brand. Number one, three things to avoid when starting a personal brand. Number one, looking at other people's stuff. Stop looking at other people's stuff. Not stop looking at other people's stuff to support them. Sure, look at other people's stuff and lift them up, speak life over them, support them, all of that. Yes, of course. Stop looking at other people's stuff to validate you. Stop looking at other people's stuff to wonder if you're doing it right. Stop looking at other people's stuff to see if, if yours is as pretty as theirs. If we're holding ourselves up against somebody else and what they have going on, there is no direct comparison. There's no point of direct comparison. It's not apples to apples. So why are you doing it? Okay? You're doing it likely because you think, think, that this person, think not know, but think, that this person is successful and I need to do what they're doing. You need to do what you need to do. You need to focus on your people, who you're here to serve, your people. If you focus on being more like them, you're already showing up outside of your God-given skill set. You're trying to show up as someone else when you were created to be you. There's so much value in you being you. I know that people say it all over the place and, and it's said so much that we're almost like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here to tell you there is serious value and your success only lives, only lives in the place where you are unashamedly, transparently you. That's the only place success lives. You cannot be successful being someone else. First of all, tell me in the comments, you guys, if you have succumbed to that stronghold before. It's okay, we all have. I have. But let's just admit it to each other. We're building a community here, okay? And it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to say, yeah, I goofed. And then, all right, oops. And then move on, right? Ah, that happened. And then you just move on. You don't beat yourself up over it. You don't say that that defines you as a purpose. You're a person, you move on, right? So tell me in the comments if you've, if you've uh, succumbed to that stronghold before. Number two, three things to avoid when starting a personal brand is spending too much money on things you don't need. How about that? Who else is gonna talk about that? You know what I'm saying? When I first started my business 10 years ago, I, oh gosh, it was like 11 years ago now. Whew, I gotta stop saying 10 years ago. It ain't true, it's 11 now. Uh, but whenever I started my business, however many years ago, you know what I'm saying? What I did was I went and bought up all the things. <laughs> I bought all the softwares and all of the things and I'm like, here's what I need. They say I need this and they say I need this and they say I need this and da 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 da. Here they all are, you know? Buy all the subscriptions. Okay, cool, I have them all, right? They're all lined up in front of me virtually, you know, because they're online subscriptions, but they're all essentially lined up in front of me and I'm like, ah, here's all of my stuff. Look at me in my business and how awesome I am. Just because somebody says that you need a thing doesn't mean it's actually gonna be helpful in your business. And that doesn't make them malicious, doesn't make those people malicious. It just means that not every business needs all of those tools. 
And for a personal brand, quite frankly, we don't really need that many tools. There are a lot of people that will say, well, you have to run Facebook ads. No, you don't. You have to spend a bunch of money on advertising. No, you don't. You're going to have to buy, uh, you know, this funnel software and da-da-da-da-da, all of these things. No, you don't. Let me know in the comments, you guys, if if you did this in the beginning of your own journey. If you bought all of the softwares and then realized, like, I don't actually need any of these. There's one software I'm still paying for because I don't know how to cancel it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I pay $7 a month to something and I don't know what it is. Also, I don't know how to cancel it and I think I've had it for about 10 years. That's my world. (laughs) So there's that. Um, Okay, you guys, number three, three things to avoid when starting a personal brand. Number three is getting new education so you can work. There are some people that believe that they need to get certified in XYZ in order to be able to start creating their income streams. Now, if you're going to be a surgeon, yes, you should probably get your license or whatever it is for that, right? If you're gonna be a lawyer, you probably need to pass some tests or something, right? But whenever it comes to our personal brand and us showing people how we've overcome things or making it up easy for other people to overcome things that we have also overcome, you don't need letters behind your name. You don't need certifications or any sort of diplomas or anything for you to be able to help other people get through something that you got through as well. Let me release that belief from you right now. Okay, because that belief alone could be keeping you super small and not allowing you to actually think big and creating this brand that you can act, you could, you could already have income streams around yourself if you could just stop believing that. But what I'm saying is if you've gone through something in your life and you're showing other people how to get through that, you don't need certification to do that. Now, that said, Are there things that can help you that you can put into your toolbox that will make you even better or make it, uh, uh, make you more effective in the transformation of those people? A hundred percent. Yes. What I'm saying is that you shouldn't let the certification part of things stop you from beginning. You can begin now. In the comments, let me know uh, what you guys have done. If if certification paralysis has happened to you, and if it hasn't happened to you, please give somebody else watching this video advice. So in the comments, I would love to hear your advice to people that are feeling certification or knowledge paralysis. Paralysis that they don't know enough about a thing. I wanna hear your guys' advice. Why do I ask that? Because we're a community. If you are watching on the YouTubes, what you're gonna wanna do is click on the subscribe button and also the bell so you get notified when new videos come on, okay? There's new videos on almost every single day. Um, Some of them are live streams and some of them are produced videos that are just tutorials, okay? So you want to make sure that you're um, subscribed and that you've clicked the bell or else you're not gonna get notified when that stuff comes on. If you don't give a rip, then don't worry about it. Um, But if you are building your business, if you are desiring to build income streams around yourself and your family, you're gonna wanna make sure that you do that, okay?